Right tubers, here's the plan. I got a fan and I try and get to turn on via the temperature sensors somewhere on that battery pack. Don't know how to do this, but I got the fan. I got some crimpy tool, some connectors, side cutters, black and some white cable, ah, black and some red, one of them, and some instructions because instructions help. So the plan is, I worked out that number three relay has set up for cooling. So I think 15 and 16, where is it? Where's my piece of paper? Output control, cooling enabled. So 15 and 16, so these two pins here will connect my fan. And I've just got to put power from here to here. But at the same time, I'm also going to move the negative power onto the right side of the shunt so we get an accurate reading of how much power we use. Okay, so you can't fix stupid, but oh, am I pissed off? Okay, so what happened? Short and dropped it on the back of that terminal. So I dropped this bolt down to here. A customer came in behind me and said something. I turned around and I let this drop onto this terminal. Right. I think I have to work out something to actually encapsulate that somehow. I don't know how. I might have to do a 3D printed cup or something, I think. So fix that problem. I mean, this is part of what I do. I, you know, it's stupid, but what do you do? You learn, don't you? Now, what damage did it do? Well, I've got no lights. It's connected. I've changed the power up to there. Uh, the positive's there. So it's got power. Um, long mons are, some long mons are working, some are not working unfortunately. Okay, let's troubleshoot this. It's not working at all. I've got everything plugged back in again the way it should. Hmm, just under 3 volts. Okay, so have we killed an entire pack of batteries? There is no way for that short period of time that could kill the whole pack of batteries. So let's do one at a time. Okay, 3.8, 7, 11, 15, 19, ah, this is looking good, 23, and 3, well, that is not good. So pack seven. Can you see the screen? Pack seven. Three point eight six. Alright, seems like pack seven's got the issue. Let's remove pack sevens from service. Of course this won't be tight because I only put the rotten thing on finger tight and I shouldn't have put the bloody thing on at all. This really is what you get from trying to work and make videos at the same time as well as the living I guess I guess one concession to this design is under the top bolt under the bottom bolt carefully unplug these and we're good to go we found the problem look at this one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All of the cables are broken. Every single fuse is blown. 
So you know what? The fuse has saved me. So that means if I join the negative back up to the negative up here aha outstanding so that's the second time I didn't blow it up fuse your pack oh Jesus right now I'm back to the normal programming <laughs> I decided a coke bottle top was a bloody good idea up there uh, there we go it's all up and running the fans on it's working perfectly um, I did forget I showed a picture I think earlier I forgot to put power to the fan I didn't realize it but you know learning and all that so what I'm gonna do now is play a short clip clip from the Batroom website that tells you how to set this up so I don't have to bumble my way through it and make myself look unprofessional and stupid well more stupid here we go okay so this is the steps to set up a fan to be controlled via the watchmon so when the cells get too warm or it goes into bypass or the ambient temperature from the watchmon is too high that it'll actually turn a fan on okay the first step for us is to go into hardware from hardware we actually go to the expansion board because that's what we're going to control in this case you've most likely got a 48 volt expansion board so you select that and we're going to arbitrarily pick relay 4 for the fan it could be any one of them but in this case we're just picking the fourth one in this case we're saying that the cooling is required once we accept this we go save at this point because we're just connected to the device we put in our pin code so that we can make the change in this case it's now confirmed that that hardware is now configured so that relay 1 will come on whenever cooling is required according to the controls okay so now let's set up the controls by going to menu control logic we now go across to thermal and in thermal we have two lots we have cooling and heating so let's look at cooling first we go edit and in this case we've turned on the cooling to actually happen when it goes above 42 degrees if the ambient goes above 47 and if at any point the cells are in bypass this over here is showing the active state and so we can see that it's there at the moment the cooling is switched off which is this off state if we change it for a, for example where the current cell temperature is 23 we make it 22 as just a temporary example for this demonstration we then go save again we'll see this go orange and this is showing that in actual fact the t cell temperature is 23 we're actually saying turn cooling on anytime it goes above 22 and this system is now saying it's currently off and it's planning to transition on and this logic is because we've said that restart the fan after 30 seconds if any of these state cases occur and then if for example the temperature eventually drops below 22 degrees it will then turn the fan off after one minute so now that we've seen that we can see down the bottom here we've also got a cooling fan attached there you go tubers now I can automate my fans coming on and off and my battery shed and my power shed next summer and I'm not going to have any more problems with heating anyways cheers thanks for tuning in I'll see you on the next one